Hi friends, it's Wendy Brightbell, and this is 10 Minute Art. I have lots of friends who ask me at different times, how do you fit art into your day? Because I'm a stay-at-home mom, and that pretty much takes up most of my time. And what I usually tell them is that I take, I steal little chunks of time. I take 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, and you'd be surprised how if you take several little 10 minute blocks throughout your day to paint or do something creative, you'd be surprised at how much you can get accomplished. The other thing is, is that when you're working with mixed media, you have to do things in small increments because you have to let things dry and wait for them before you can go on to the next step. So I like to maybe start in the mornings and do 10 minutes um, doing something and then come back later in the morning. And then usually in the afternoons is when I have my big chunk of time and I'll just go from one project to another. So today I just wanted to start a session where I show you guys how I do my 10 minute art and to show you that it actually is possible to get things accomplished in just 10 minutes. So today I have cut up a whole bunch of little papers. I just took a regular uh, 8x10, 8x10 sheets of paper and I cut them into quarters. I like to do this when I'm making and painting my papers because it doesn't get too monotonous. You know, if you have to sit and fill up a whole sheet of paper with paint, you're going crazy because it takes so long. So I just cut mine up into smaller pieces and then I can do lots of different kinds. So today we're just gonna be painting papers and I'm gonna show you how to do this. And I apologize if the light isn't too great. Uh, it's snowing outside, so I don't have a lot of natural light right now. It is very beautiful, but it doesn't give me very much light. So here goes. So I'm going to just show you how I do my 10 minute art. I think that should be a good view for you guys. So what I like to do is I, I just start out with the color. Um, it might be green, you know, whatever color I'm really inspired by that day. And a lot of times I'll do a whole bunch of sheets in that one color, lots of different designs. So um, let me get my paintbrush and then I just start playing around with the design. Sorry, I can't see what the screen is doing. There we go. So I like to do like this little scallop pattern. I don't know why I like it so much, but I do it in a lot of my paintings. And so I'll just sit and just quickly make my pattern. Now, these are papers that I am going to use later on. Um, I just recently started making, painting my own papers because of copyright issues having to do with, you know, if you use scrapbook papers in your collage, um, a lot of times there are copyright issues, so I just decided, hey, why can't I start making my own papers? And I actually kind of like them better because I have contro more control over them, and um, I can do you know, all the same colors that I'm going to paint in a painting, um, I can make my own papers and then the paint and everything matches all together. So I'm liking this making, painting my own papers daily. So I'm just finishing filling this up really doesn't have to be too complicated and mine are very far from being perfect. I don't think I make any perfect papers at all. You could be if you really wanted to spend your time but I'm not into perfection. So um, hold on just a second. I'm going to grab my inks. Um, 
up in my hutch really fast. Forgot to get those out. Um, because I thought it would be kind of fun to mix some different mediums on my papers. So now that I have this, I'm going to just spray a little bit of ink on my paper. It's kind of like that, the pattern and the ink together. So there's one. And I just set that one out to dry. Okay. I kind of got some, on this other, some ink on this paper, but that's okay. Um, let's see, what else do I want to do? I might do a design like this with a little curling cue. I use this in a lot of my paintings as well. I like the way it looks. This makes me happy. I also use this on my packaging in orange, because I like orange. All my stuff is in orange. So I did that one, and maybe this time I'll add like a different spray. Sorry, I keep having to turn the camera back on. A different color on this one. And that's kind of cool. I like how that one turned out. So I'll let that one sit to dry as well. So see, I've already gotten two papers done and I'm barely into this. And you know, I just saw this little cap here. Um, I like to stamp with different um, things that I find around the house. So I just got one of my lids to my sprays and it has a nice circle. So I'm just gonna dip that in there and start making a pattern all over my page. Sorry, I need to move this real fast. So I'm just quickly adding this. I'm just using it as a stamp. And you know, guys, when you're making patterns on a piece of, on a paper, I always like to go off my page because it just doesn't look like there's just like a big blob in the middle of your paper and I think it makes the page feel like it's more finished so don't be afraid to go off your page it actually it's quite interesting and I do that with pretty much all of my oh I got like a bubble going on here that's kind of funny um, I do that with my paintings too, because I think it's more interesting. It's kind of funky how it keeps doing that bubble business. Okay, so I have this one done, and that one's kind of fun. I like that one a lot. Um, and maybe I will add some... Hmm, some blue to this one. So I think that would be kind of interesting. So see, that's really fun. I like that too. And even 10 minute art is not without interruptions. My husband just came in to talk to me and I had to stop the video. So I'm trying to get this where you guys can still see it, but it's not going to get a paint everywhere from going off of my page. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to take this stencil, I think, and I'm going to um, use the orange here. Okay, there's one. And then I think I want another one right next to it, kind of going off the page again. Okay, that'll be kind of cool. Um, I'll probably add like another layer to that, but gosh, I'm dripping ink everywhere right now. Um, I'll probably add another layer to this one, but for right now, I'm going to let this one dry. 
it's a nice start and see how quick and easy it is to just make a little uh, paper um, it's so easy to just do these little quarter inch um, pieces and you actually feel like you're getting something done um, I'm reaching for a stamp here sorry I don't have everything sitting out right here at this exact minute um, this is like a a meat tray type of thing that has a, a pattern and so I just I just use things that I find around the house I just kind of keep my eyes open and look for things that would make a really good stamp so here I'm just gonna load it up with a whole bunch of paint I actually did a whole background of one of my paintings with this thing. That was pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to stamp this onto the, my paper. That's really hard. And that's really cool, see? Um, I might do another one. Let's see, I think it was this way. Right next to it. This one won't be as dark because it won't have enough, as much paint on it. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. And then I think I'll add... Um, I don't know what color I want. Maybe the green. So then I'll just go... Just kind of on the edges, I like it. It's kind of fun. And maybe drip a little bit of it down the page. If it'll go. You could even have like a a line, a clothesline, and hang up, hang all your papers with clothespins. So let's see, what else do I want to do? Um, I don't know, sometimes I get stuck. I liked the, um, that stamp that I did with the paint cap, so I'm going to do this in green. Sometimes it's cool to have the same pattern, but have it in different colors. I like doing that. So if you repeat that same kind of paper, throughout your piece, then it provides interest because you're repeating patterns. I think this will be our last one because I think we're getting kind of close to 10 minutes. Even though I, talk, I talked a little bit at the beginning. So it hasn't, I don't know if it's exactly been 10 minutes or not. I haven't looked at the time yet. So there, I have another circle stamp. And I think I'm going to add this terracotta spray to it. So see, that one's really fun too. Let that one dry. So friends, I hope that you're encouraged today that you don't have to have a huge block of time to do art every day. That you can just take a few uh, 10 minute um, chunks of time, sit down and you could probably even just set your timer and say, I'm going to do art for 10 minutes. And your kids are not going to be uh, going crazy if you're gone for 10 minutes. And it'll give you a little bit of uh, sanity because you actually got something done. I, I, get, I think I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six papers done. And that's not bad for 10 minutes. So I hope you're inspired to go do your own 10-minute art. See you later.